Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Starfield. I'm definitely not pulling up my phone to make sure that I know how long I've been recording for. Definitely not trying to buy some time here. Just talking about interesting stuff, you know? Um, definitely not setting my phone down with my stopwatch activated. Mm, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Starfield. It's the field of stars that you know so well. It's the Starfield. If you're enjoying the series, likes, comments, subscribing, all that stuff helps. Twitch and Patreon if you want to go the extra ma 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 mile. Yeah? To reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Sounds good. This will become second nature before too long. You know, it really won't, though. Uh, the fast travel menu is weird as heck, and I still am not used to it. And I'll explain why that is. There's a crab down there through that little peephole there. The pilot seat. Fast travel directly from the missions menu. Press start. So, yeah, you don't even need to uh, fast travel from the ship. You don't even need to take off, really, as far as I know. The fastest way to do it, yeah, is to go to the missions uh, tab at the bottom here. And then you can track your mission one small step. And then you, what I like to do is hover over this and then hit X, which sets a course to whatever system it's in. And then you hold X to grab jump. Uh, just very confusing, um, honestly, just because there's a lot going on. Grab jumping, holding X to jump, placing targets Star with A. This is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. Cool beans. And then you have to do this, I'm assuming, because it's loading the planet? I don't really know. The The traveling is weird. Like I said, we can get into it further. So then you have to pull this up again. And I'm, I'm not sure if you could do this from orbit. Like, if you can look at the planet and land from orbit. Uh, again, I'm still kind of confused on the most efficient way to fast travel. Just because there's a lot of menus, there's a lot of loading screens. But here's New Atlantis, uh, which it's already activated, so we can just hold X to land on it. But then I got to the good stuff, and I was like, okay, now I understand what people mean by when they say that, you know, there is Captain good stuff Red. in the game. Everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Cool. I like Vasco. Um, I don't love him. I don't really love any of the companions, to be honest with you. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Gotta remember we're evil. Got to remember we're evil. Doesn't matter. I have your artifact. Excuse me? I think you might have us confused with some cutthroat bounty hunters guild. Vasco, verify Barrett's location and status. Currently, assisting the miners on Vectera following a Crimson Fleet attack. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? I'm not talking about this. That thing almost killed me. So something did happen. Barrett mentioned a loss of consciousness last time he found an artifact. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Also got a magazine here. Permanently reduces fall damage by 5%. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? 
But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves that... Easy, girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Godric? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Okay, let's see. Gotta say the meanest option every time. A little much, I need some time to clear my head. How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? You want me in Constellation? You want me in Constellation? What's that mean? What's expected? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment. Just like the rest of us. How much do you know about the artifacts? What are they? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. I mean, ultimately we would say this, but again, yeah, it's, this game is so weird, man. It really forces you to be like a sort of character that you would expect from like Skyrim where you don't have too much ability to roleplay. But then it really does let you roleplay later on. It's it's just weird. So we'll have to unfortunately do the good guy options or at least just because I feel like we would say, oh, fine, whatever, I'll do it for the money or something like that. But, you know, all we can really say is, all right, I'm in. Tell me what happens next. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just... Mind your head. It's weird that they give you that. 8,000 credits, Constellation Pack added, Lodge Key added, level 3 obtain. Yeah, it's weird that they give you the boost pack, because you already have a boost pack. So, like, you know, oh, we should give you some boost capability. It's like, uh, I can already literally do that, because I, I know I started with that ability, but I'm saying if you... If you had leveled that up, you would already have that. It's kind of weird. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and level up. I do recommend that you level up quickly when you have... It's not like Sky where you want to save your uh, perk points. Because in this, you have to unlock stuff and then actually work towards the challenges. So it's good to, like, you know, spend your perk points immediately, basically. Uh, boost pack training. Or should I go for... Unlock, you can attempt to hack advanced locks and two auto attempts can be banked. I haven't seen too much, like, crazy interesting stuff that you have to lockpick, though, to be honest with you. Hmm. Or should we go for the boost pack training? You can now utilize the boost packs, uh, which I do enjoy. Very fun to use the boost pack. Uh, yeah, let's do this. So, using a boost pack expends less fuel. Now we need to boost jump 25 times while in combat to get the next rank. Also, uh... I are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Quarters? What about nickels? <laughs> know what I'm as saying? As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. 
That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Sarah said something about a place for me to stay. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Let's. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I am at your service, Captain. Uh, yeah, about that. We need to send Va, Va to Vos Vasco? Vasco? Is it Vasco with an O-S? Uh, we're not going to be using companions in this playthrough. Honestly, the companions are pretty boring and one note, in my opinion. Um, so that's not really much of a loss. Uh, I do like Sarah. I do like other companions that we haven't really seen yet. So busy with our work here that but overall, yeah, I'd much rather adventure alone, especially with the introvert perk. Even though I don't consider this character an introvert. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself. Within reason, of course. Now, let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Yeah, it's mine. I'll take it. No, 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 no. So much space music races through my mind when I play this video game. Super Mario Galaxy, Mass Effect, all sorts of stuff. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy. Thank you. All right, yeah, nice and easy as far as as far as a um, little uh, little uh, uh, you know when you get to walk around and follow somebody quests go. Uh, not too bad. We're gonna rest for an hour to restore HP for free, and then we've got some storage here. Uh, we also got a new constellation. Uh, constellation space. Oh, they just give you a pack and that's it. Constellation pack, which is red. It increases our physical and EM resistance as well as thermal and corrosive resistance. Are those all resistances? Basic burst pack. Uh, yeah, let's wear that, I suppose. And then, um, yeah, we can store anything of note in here. This is not a game where I really feel compelled to store unique items, which is a little unfortunate. I, I really haven't seen that many unique items, to be honest. Most of them are come from, like, joining factions, but I'm not even sure if it's really unique versus if it's something that, uh, that uh, you can get multiple times over in different areas. Uh, let's talk to each of the companions, but we'll go through their dialogue very, very quickly. I do not want to make this entire episode dialogue let's I talk to vasco satisfied with the quarters available to quarters you. what about dimes <laughs> captain now that you are a member of constellation i am at your service no additional protocols necessary also given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development in case you ever need to build a base for field research yeah, an explorer base building is something I haven't done at all, so that'll be new. We'll probably do that at some point. I could use you on my crew, Vasco. Captain Red, I will proceed to my assigned post. Cool. And then you can, uh, yeah, you can you can set different companions to different places. So we got two spots for the frontier. 
So we'll set uh, Vasco there. Okay, I think we're gonna run through this dialogue. I do not want to listen to this for like. The th it's so. It's, again, I don't want this whole episode to be just like me, you know, complaining about the game or whatever. But like, yes, I find so many elements of this game so dry, especially the dialogue. The dialogue is just yeah, outposts and bureaucrats and red tape and blah blah blah. So outpost development. What do you mean? The exploration. It is even possible. No way. Sounds useful. Uh, how do I know if a planet has the resources I need? A planetary scan. And, Wally. Awesome. What kind of advanced structures could I build? The scan booster is the, beyond that. A particularly cross... Sounds useful. I'll try it next time I touch down on a planet. The blueprints you need. Uh, do you mind if I ask you some... Oh, we wouldn't even say that. I do want a romance in this game, but I'm not even sure how romance works. I've gotten a flirt option with one of the characters, and that's been it. So, yeah, it seems like it just happens naturally. Goodbye, for now. Uh, are you following me? I will await your next you are not following order. me. Okay, let's talk to Noelle real quick, ever even though we've already met here, her. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Okay, cool beans. Stay safe, okay? You stay safe as well. We've got Walter. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. You don't even know me. Yes, you're right. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over. Shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. Just watch the grumpiness in the future. Now, now, I've apologized. It's on you to accept and forgive. I'm sure we'll argue again. That's what relationships are. Breakage and repair. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Cool beats. Remember, you're representing all of us out there. I actually do really like this character, surprisingly. Uh, there's a quest you'll go on with him that I actually, you know, created a new found, a new found fondness for that character. Then finally, we've got Mateo. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did, now would be a good time for one. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Okay, cool. Take care of yourself. And also you. All right, that's everybody met now. Before everybody in the comment section mentions it, yes, I am aware that there is. If you go down this way, here's all the research labs and stuff. You can also grab side quests from the mission board, but it's your typical just go to a random planet and survey four thousand things. Not that interested in that. Uh, if you go, I cannot believe they haven't patched this. By the way, this is insanity for this to still be a thing. But like. Yeah, you have this suit, uh, which needs a master lock to open, a master digipick skill to open, whatever you want to call it. And if you hover in the middle, right here, you can interact with the mannequin and just take it. Yeah, if you hover into the crack like so. You can interact with this mannequin and take the suit. Now, I'm not going to do that because I am a fan of playing the way game, playing the games that... I'm... A fan of playing games the way the developers intended and obviously they want you to you know work your way up to the master lock and then open it and check it out and all that so we'll do that I know that's kind of lame or whatever but yeah I like wearing the different equipment sets as you unlock them and you know working your way up towards 
uh, the master set or whatever. Also, there's other sets in the game, too, that I'm not sure if they're better or what. But if you do want an early game powerhouse uh, set, you can go and grab it that way. Unless they patch it, which, uh, yeah, they might. I'm not sure. Cryo later was like a thing in Fallout 4 that they, I think, patched, right? Okay, let's talk to Sarah. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Uh, I think we will run through Sa Actually, I don't know. Mm, you know what? Never mind. I don't think we will run through Sarah's dialogue. Uh, I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Legwork never pays off quite the way you expect. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. We watch each other's backs. We'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. What do I get out of this anyway? Constellation have a salary? You mean, besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. We're explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. Got it. You and me until we get that artifact. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Their constellation? <laughs> Uh, what do you mean? You don't care if I steal as long as they don't get caught? I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Let's so we can leave ASAP. Uh, Sarah Morgan is available for your crew. Okay, let's go. So yeah, again, not a big fan of this early game. Um, so we'll try to. I mean, that's the problem with Bethesda games in the early game is like Skyrim too. You know, you want to get to the Greybeard so you can unlock certain stuff, and this game is very similar with that. So, I don't know what we'll do. I don't want to do the main quest too long. Because um, I'm assuming we can go to the other stuff whenever we want to. And there's definitely a faction quest that I'm very interested for this character to join. Because I haven't done it yet. And uh, I am, uh, yeah, excited. Oh. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's cool. I haven't seen that little interaction before. Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with a vanguard? Help the United Colonies earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Maybe later. We have Constellation business to discuss first. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. If he's on patrol, he could be putting our item at risk. What? <laughs> no. Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. 
That means it's not going to be fine. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul System is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. We're off to Sidonia then. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. So yeah, you can talk to this guy to join the Vanguard, which I like to think of as like the Fighters Guild. It's your typical just guild, guild. I don't know how the other, uh, I don't know how the other guilds compare, the other factions, whatever. But Vanguard seems to be pretty, you know, what you would expect from a faction. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, this is kind of one thing. I know we're talking a lot about a lot of things I'm not a fan of, but again, the early game is kind of shows all that. Uh, so yeah, it's a lot of planet jumping, and unfortunately, you can't fly your spaceship, you know, around. Uh, you have to just go through a lot of loading screens. So this is a perfect example. So we need to go to the old neighborhood, which is the soul system, you know, where Earth is. So ask about Moara and Sidonia, which is on Mars. So we hit X to bring us up to this. Now we need to travel from the Alpha Centauri system to the soul system. I don't think there's any way to directly travel from one planet in a different system Thanks. into another planet. United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. And then you gotta wait for this scan to happen, which can get you another quest line. Level four, skill point acquired. Da, 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 uh, spend four more skill points in social to unlock advance. Yeah, I definitely want to go intimi intimidation. That would be cool. I have a cough coming up in my throat. Give me one second. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, uh, lasers. Unlock laser weapons do 10% more damage. Uh, that would be cool, but I kind of want to go persuade. Yeah, because 10% is not really all that much, right? So what do we want here? And buy for 5% less, sell for 10% more. You can craft specialty food and drinks and research additional recipes at Research Lab. 10% increased chance of success when persuading. There's a chance you'll find extra credits when searching containers. Unlock the ability to pickpocket targets. You think this would go for an evil character, but I honestly don't like pickpocketing in, as uh, as a mechanic in games like this. Just tedious, I find. Uh, let's go with persuasion. Yeah. How does intimidation differ, though? Is intimidation persuasion? But like, I wonder if this is like its own skill. I, I just want this for the role play element. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's take. Persuasion. Maybe we'll just be wily at the start of this. 10% uh, increased chance of success when persuading someone. Succeed in three speech challenges to rank that up. So now that we're here, then you have to go back into the start menu, back to the missions menu, go back here, press X again, then find where your little icon is and land on the planet. So you'll have to go from system to a closer system to a closer system, then like from that system to another system, then that to the planet, then from the planet to the actual spot where you want to land. It just gets to be a little tedious. Um, you know, I I think this game would have massively been more... I think it would have been far cooler basically to have... Oh, by the way, gravity's really cool in this game because like, yeah, here we have far less gravity. So, oh, look at that guy. He's like mining or... So I don't know what that guy's doing. What the heck are you doing, buddy? Weird. Anyways, gravity's cool because, yeah, planets with lower gravity are fun to boost pack around. Um, yeah, I just think this game would have really, really, really benefited from having basically, you know, 10% of the planet. Obviously, it's all randomly generated stuff for the 900 planets or whatever it is. And just have, like, you know, the ability to fly your ship manually from, like, planet to planet. I think that would have been just so much cooler for me personally. Um, some people really like the exploration. I'm not a fan of it. Um, you know me. I like handcrafted content. So, that's why I have been enjoying the quest stuff. Uh, where are we going? No trees, no grass. Where are we going? This way? Do, 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 do. Unlock master. Wait, what are we doing? I thought you come down this way, no? Oh, this is definitely not where we want to be. Uh, what is our main quest right now? 
The old neighborhood asks about Mawara in Sidonia. The question is, how do we get to that particular map marker? I am confuzzled. Speak with Trevor. Who's Trevor? Here we go. Wee! Woo! Waha! Yupadoo! Hello. We get a lot of new faces passing through here. I'm looking for a van god named Mawara. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. I have no idea what that alarm is. I have not heard that before. That's weird. Space isn't kind to the lost. He's in trouble or worse. Sounds about right. Yeah. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular. But if I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? The persuasion mini game. So you have a lot of different. I mean, yeah, this kind of introduces you to the system where you can obviously bribe. You can also have your uh, companion say something, which basically auto succeeds, or you can persuade, which gets you experience and also is you know the most fun thing. He could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Come on, life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You're gonna guilt trip me. All right, so. How the persuasion minigame works is cool in this game. I like it uh, because apparently there are certain things that are auto fails. I don't know if there's auto wins too, which makes this far more interesting than I originally thought. But basically we have a number of segments at the bottom there uh, where it says persuasion under that. So four segments. So for instance, if we pass one of these two, we would immediately just win at this minigame. But you'll see we also have three turns to do it. So, green is easy to pass, yellow is medium, and then red is hard. It's basically like Fallout 4, right? Pretty much. Uh, so, we're going to go with the easy one here. What matters to you more, the money or Moira's life? Guess I should ask you the same question. You paying or what? Okay, that fails. So we have two turns. I think we'll still go with the two here. We could be the only ones who could find them. And maybe he's not going to get found. I'm out the cash either way. All right, so that's unfortunate, especially with the persuasion perk. My God! So now we basically have to win one of these two here, isn't he? And I think there are better ones to choose than other ones, isn't he? Your friend, don't you want us to go look for him? I want you to imagine him out there alone, and here you are holding out for cash. I feel like this one makes more sense, but this one I feel like I've succeeded on in the past. I want you to imagine him out there alone, and here you are holding out for cash. Don't try to guilt trip me, okay? That's enough. You either pay up or get out. I'm done talking about this. Okay, that did not work, so let's have Sarah talk for us. No, oh, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. No, oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. I absolutely hate paying bribes in video games, but I guess we gotta do it in this case. Here's your money. Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay, let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love, <laughs> singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. What? Okay, go to Venus. So yeah, this was... One of the things that kind of turned me off in the early game was, you know, it's kind of like, go to Mars, talk to Guy, go to Venus, duh, 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 go to whatever, you know, go to Uranus, whatever. Uh, just kind of a lot of planet hopping, which, again, if you're a fan of, then, yeah, I mean, you'll, you'll enjoy this a lot. But, again, I really do like this game when it comes into its own. It just doesn't come into its own for a little bit, so bear with me while we get through that part of the game. Although, like I said, we are going to be rushing 
a different quest line that I have not even done yet, which apparently is great for this character. So go to Venus, hit X, it'll bring up the solar system. We can go over here to Venus, and then we can hit travel, and I think it'll put us outside of the planet, and then we need to travel again to go from outside to the actual planet itself. Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealots. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The Devourer of the Unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. I doubt they know where our vanguard is. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. I'm open and fire. Those zealots are a threat to the whole... St Ugh. See, it's like I want to be evil, but then it says something like this. They're a threat to the whole system, as if I'm doing it to, like, save people. Uh, so we need to get to that beacon without being attacked. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Okay, so there's stealth, ship stuff, ship stealth stuff, SSS, minimize ship system power to avoid detection systems like weapons and shields are easy to detect for maximum stealth power down all systems except one or two bars of your engines, so as far away from the enemy ships as you can, get within 500 meters of the satellite beacon so that you can activate it. So we will go down here to our bottom left and power down everything. I really do like this system, this system is cool. Uh, keep it at two engine, power down all that. And then the biggest tip that I have is make sure to lock on by pressing A. Oh, serpent. Bless this communion that we may walk in Janan Verun's footsteps. That he jumped from the soul system out into the beyond and touched your magnificence. That he learned the truth of the shrouding, the coming eternal embrace. That you will reward the promise and cast the accursed into shadow. Okay, crazies. Whatever you say. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure if boosting will affect anything. You know what? Let's just try to do it. I don't even care if they notice me. I'll shoot them down. As long as you know what you're doing on some level with the ship combat, you can uh, survive higher levels. Although I have gotten destroyed by these guys before. So, gotta get close to the satellite beacon. Again, make sure you hit A so that you can lock on, and we're about to hit that 500 meter mark right about now. Okay, what am I supposed to do about that, Miss Sarah Morgan? Might already tell me. Go to the Nova Galactic Star Yard, which is here. You can also zoom in like this, and it'll kind of zoom into planets so you can rotate and go to Luna. Uh, also, make sure to scan whenever you're like outside of a planet. I, I'm terrible at doing that. I don't know if it really matters, but if you plan on scanning everything, it obviously matters. We're going to travel to Luna. Let us go. Let us travel to Luna. Okay, so then once you're outside, uh, what you hello? Talk to oh, I'm being forced to talk. I think. Nova Galactic Star Yard, still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Let's see if Van Gaan is in that star yard. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Most star stations and ships can be docked with. Okay, so yeah, well, you want to go to the star thing and uh, star map and like scan planets when you're nearby them like this. Uh, just a little good tip to do. Because uh, if it's a gas giant, you'll be able to scan... Um, 
uh, you'll be able to scan the whole thing from from uh, from orbit. Also, notice Earth; it is destroyed. <laughs> that is, uh, yeah, we'll get into that as to what happened with Earth. Uh, okay, so uh, we should be able to hold B to exit this, and then lock on to the Nova Galactic Star Yacht. Uh, power up our engines. Power up the shields as well. Power up a grab drive, and we'll do lasers. Yeah, I really do like how, uh, okay, we can hail as well. Let's do that. Just static. Then we'll hold X to dock here. So yeah, the stuff that orbits the planets, you have to dock, and then it basically acts like an inside location uh, that you can go in and explore. Uh, so just make sure you board. It's a little confusing because you think, oh, undock. Time okay, that way I can go moving. inside. Vasco, what are you doing Hello. here? Good day, Captain. What's up? Good day, Captain. You, okay. Yeah, you can be here. That's fine. Uh, let's grab a rescue axe, and we're going to go through this rescue fast. It's not Vanguard Moara. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here, and someone else came in and said hello. I was going to say, there should be a corpse here, but I didn't see it. There it is. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. Really? That's crazy, lady. Wow. from the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. Amazing. Yeah, I should have listened to that a little bit closer because I'm curious as to what the spacers actually are. Because you got you got pirates, which are your typical raiders or whatever. Then you got spacers, which are their own like brand of bad people, like these guys here. Oh yeah, and then ecliptics. I guess ecliptics are spacers. Wait, who is firing at the? Oh, is it spacers versus ecliptic? Eclip Spacers versus Ecliptics, right? Yeah, that's what's going on here. So this is where you will see that melee is not all that... Okay, and we're immediately just dead. Yeah, this is where you'll see melee is not all that good. Um, it's, it's not as viable as it is in stuff like Fallout 4, for instance. Like, Fallout 4, you can just go crazy. You can go crazy with melee. I feel like you just... You don't even need the damage-resistant perks. You could just do your own thing. Uh, but yeah, we'll take out the uh, Space Adept Modified Equinox. Uh, and this should help us out a little bit better. Also, they added a thing where if you get melee attacked... Ooh, I'm gonna throw that over. No! Jesus. Da -da 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 -da. Huh! Oh, God. Yeah! That does not go far at all. I swear that used to go farther. Okay, this is gonna be tough, especially with our limited ammunition. Oh, we're literally out already. Fantastic. Alright, we got the Solstice, which really isn't that great. This thing is very, very weird to use. Yet yeah, done! Okay, what do you have, my good sir? Thank you. Yeah, I will say ballistic weapons are definitely like the small weapons of the Fallout world. Meaning ballistic weapons are like everywhere. They're a heck of a lot easier to use. Um, and yeah, like unless you're obviously trying to roleplay or trying to use certain things, it's just a heck of a lot better to use ballistic weapons. Just as a heads up. I mean, look at that thing. It's so bad. Hello. Thank you. Secret outpost. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Navigate. Oh, wow. Hello. Yeah, and I've also only seen, like, a couple of melee options, too. There's really not all that much. So I'm hoping that changes. Uh, I am going to need some... I am going to need some med packs, and I'm going to need some laser ammo if you guys would be so kind yeah because melee is going to end up using our med packs quite drastically quite quickly okay let's get this back out the equinox jeez these were taking a lot of damage turn the corner spacer come on now what the heck happened to him we got knocked down I'm sorry, you were saying I'm not taking you down, right? As you were being taken down. Interesting. Uh, so the only thing I'm really keeping an eye out for here is med packs. It's really all I care about. Digipix as well. 
Digipix and med packs. Everything else, I don't really. I'm not really sure what I should be looting, to be honest with you. There's just so many objects, and it's like. I, I'm not aware of what the economy is in terms of what I should and should not be picking up, if that makes sense. Okay, also, this place is extremely confusing to navigate. I've gotten lost here multiple times. Da, 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 da. Okay, we still got a decent amount of ammo here. I mean, this thing runs out of... This thing has to reload very quickly. Ooh. Oh, so this thing's, this thing's modified, so it's got like a spread laser. Uh, also, I've noticed you get a lot of purples and legendaries or oranges or whatever you want to call it uh, very quickly. They give you quite a lot. They hand them out like candy. Okay, hello there. Hello there. A did you pick? Don't mind if I did you do. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, laser weapons seem pretty good. All those things, like I said, reloads very quickly. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, okay, we don't have to end this thing eats up ammo like it's nobody's business. Who the heck is shooting me, man? Where the heck are you? Okay, we got ten shots left. Yeah, that thing eats up ammo like crazy. Uh, let's go for the axe. Let's use a med pack. Let's rush in there. Come here. Come here. Ow. Yeah, they have like a new thing where like you can get interrupted. Quite often, if you're trying to shoot, uh, you can, um, you can, uh, yeah, just, uh, like, if they're, if you're trying to melee attack, then they shoot you, sorry, if you're trying to shoot and they melee attack you, you will get sort of interrupted, but you can also interrupt them. It's like a new thing I've noticed with this video game. <laughs> and like I said, if we're going a little bit fast, if the pacing's a little bit fast, it's just because I've ran through this stuff so many times at this point. I want to open up the game a little bit with the main quest stuff and then move on. Permanently reduces fuel needed for a grab jump by 1%. Magazine there. Okay, this hallway freaking sucks with a capital S. We're going to have to be very, very, very careful. Uh, do we not have any throwables? Oh, wait, I thought I picked up... Wait, did we use those mines? I thought we died. Okay, I guess not. All right. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a nightmare here. Hello! Sometimes the AI is very stupid like this guy here. Okay. Um, let's see. Solstice 38. That's got nothing. Yeah, we should probably use a backup. It's basically impossible to not use a back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Basically impossible to not use a backup ballistic weapon. Yeah, pretty much I'm going to be forced to here. Okay, what do we got? Okay, I believe you. Uh, Berserker Modified Grendel and a Lacerate Sidestar, which is an epic pistol, and it's got a ballistic icon, right? So we'll favorite this. We'll put our ballistic weapons over here. Put that over there. And Modified Equinox we'll put over here. And Solstice and Space Adept Modified Equinox we'll upgrade there. Okay, let's drop this Rescue Axe as well. Alrighty then, let's see what the side star does. I've actually never used this weapon. We've got a decent amount of ammo for it. Is this like an SMG? Nope. It's like a single shot pistol, I guess. Can I blow that stuff up right there? Is that blow upable? Oh, does it deal like damage over time? It's got like a weird. Yeah, see that guy right there interrupted my attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Hey, does this thing deal damage over time? Uh, looks like the answer to that question is no. Ecliptic pack. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Uh, yes, good idea. Here, let's go down here. Whee! Read this. Vanguard Moira's Slate. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I fetched up my ship, and I'm heading to them to... I'm going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. 
Yeah, this guy's a bit of a badass. We got a bit of a badass on our hands over here. Uh, where are these other people, and how can I kill them? Hello. Da, 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 da. That guy just exploded in my face. Much better way to word that, that's for sure. I mean, we got four med packs left. What the heck? Yeah, see, when you get melee attacked, you'll be genuinely stunned for a while, which is kind of interesting. Uh, let's go into inventory items, go to weapons. We'll grab the coachman, and we'll put that over here. Coachman is a shotgun, which I happen to like quite a bit. It's like a double-barreled shotgun, basically. Hello! Oh, my God. It does take a while to reload, however. <laughs> Hey, stop it. Stop it. Hey, stop that right now. Da, na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Ooh, research lab. Never saw that before. Here, in this particular room. Uh, med pack, thank you. And looks like we are good to go. I think the exit is up here on the top. Also, yeah, when you're inside of a location like this, like one that you have to dock into, you're not allowed to fast travel back to your ship or fast travel out to somewhere else, which is kind of... I guess it makes sense. It's just like it's nice being able to fast travel to wherever you want to go, basically. Uh, how do we get out of here this way? Also, there's chests near the end of... Um most, like, dungeon sort of things as well. Okay. Bada-bing, bada-boom. And then, let's head back to the frontier. Now, since we're in the sand... No, actually, I think you Where still have to next? undock. Yeah. Greetings, Captain. Uh, so you can hit X to go to the cockpit directly, which I need to be doing. I keep accidentally hitting A, because I'm so used to pressing A in a Bethesda game. And now... We got one more stop before we end this episode here. Oh, so we're going to hold Y to undock. Cool little animation there. I do like how that looks. And then we will go to... Uh, not that one. Oh, this is a really important side quest that gets you actually a lot of cool stuff. They give it to you very early, too, but I, I guess it's really hard to do early. Not sure. I think I did this around level 10 to 12 or so. Go to Neptune. Neptune is over here. Let's travel. I will say loading times on PC on Game Pass are pretty fast, actually, but there are a lot of loading screens. Uh, I've heard this game being called Load and Field and stuff like that. There are quite a lot of, uh, yeah, quite a lot of loading screens. Approach the ship. What ship would that be? Wait, you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Hello? Let's try to hail the ship, shall we? Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. I am indeed ready. Oh, this thing is tanky as hell. Enemy missiles if locked on. Oh, turn, 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 turning in. This is so hard. I like how she says target the engines as if I have any freaking control over that whatsoever. Target the engines, girl, what you talking about? Oh yeah, wait, never mind, I can't. <laughs> okay, here we go. Can target the engine specifically. Most hostile shit. This is weird though, because this one they don't allow this guy to die, I don't think, because I have literally blown up the ship and still been able to board him. Most hostile ships can be boarded once the ship engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you'll be able to dock. Would you board expect the crew on the ship to fight That's back? It. Oh, I will start the docking routine, Sarah. Don't you worry. And make sure to hit board instead of undock. It's a little confusing. Okay, hello? Are there bad people in here? How's it going? Yaha! Level 5. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing ballistics and shotguns and snipers in my other playthroughs, so I definitely want to go for, like, lasers, but I have noticed laser weapons are hard to use, man. 
They eat up ammo like crazy, but we'll go laser weapons here to do 10% more damage. Actually, I should have checked this one first, but we still need to kill nine more people with melee weapons. So let's do that. Also not sure how to activate the crits. We are getting some crits when we attack with melee, which is interesting. See ya. Do, do, do. Oh, you're a big boy. You do need to focus. You're about to die, son. Adios. Okay, now we can go find Moara finally. Through here. Do, 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 do. Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? We're from the Explorers Group, Constellation. We need a talk. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So... You know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? It'll be better in our hands. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab, the Let's grab it indeed. Artifact beta. Let's, get back to the launch. Let's do it. Also, do you have any med packs here, man? I could really use a pick me up. We grabbed one over there, but I could really use more, honestly. That would be pretty sick. Alrighty, and that is a good place to end for today, ladies and gentlemen. I keep hitting A instead of X. Gosh dang it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you want to see more, you know what to do. Support the video in any way, shape, or form you see fit. Also, check out the Patreon, the Twitch, in the description below. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.